Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 10 with our series. And you can see that the population is just absolutely booming. And that's because I've gone ahead and built a couple of places on our satellites here, our lunar satellites. And that just helps us kind of help increase the population without taking any negative modifiers. We do have the space op, uh, elevator built, which is giving us plus 50 credits, plus 250 population, and plus 100 population for every other colony, which is great. All right, so coming back here, we'll go ahead and, oh, not this screen, not yet. We'll go to culture. We're going to spend one of our culture points. It's going to put us pretty close. We can actually check what that is here. So 75%, so we're uh, three quarters of the way there, which is nice. Taking a look at this screen, you'll see everything's pretty nicely balanced. Temperature is 294,000. A goal is 287,000. We're getting plus zero a minute. Pressure is 118,000, goal is 100,000, and I am lowering the pressure by minus four. I'm not sure actually how that. And um, let's see, where did I get the minus? I'm not sequestration plant. Okay, so it's the extra sequestration plant I built. Um, That's fine because I need to get this a little bit lower anyway. It doesn't have to be too much lower, but we'll we'll let that run for a bit and then I'll probably turn that off. I I think I'm actually, I built that extra run because I was going to build something that has pressure. Uh, I think I know what it was. And then water, we're plus three, but you can see we're a little over our goal. And so we're going to upgrade those so we can start kind of subtracting that a little bit. If we go in here, you'll see that we've got a geocistern. This one's upgraded all the way, but we'll continue upgrading this one. So that's going to get us to minus one or plus one actually. And I think if we go into subouts here, there's another, yeah, right here. And then that'll start subtracting water, which is what we want to do. And we'll kind of have to balance that out somehow. I'm not really sure how yet. <laughs> well, maybe we'll win before it gets out of control. Uh, plus one a minute's not going to break our bank, so we'll probably win before we finish that out. And yeah, so then there was just the pressure thing. I think I know what the pressure was for. I think I was going to be building a... If I go here, biomass, I think it was the eco simulator. No, nope, that's plus 10 heat, and that's plus 10 oxygen, plus 20 pressure, minus 20 water. So I really don't know uh, which one. But we do got the title enclave. We should have the title enclave. I could have swore I built it. I hope I built it. Because I need it this episode. Yeah, I did build it. Okay, I was going to say. And then we've got our two... Outpost here, which I'm actually going to go ahead and just demolish these because we're going to build two new outposts and see if we can find anything different, which is why these are completely empty because I pretty much mined the hell out of them. So found a new outpost. Let's see what we can do here. Go to elevation. These areas are still looking pretty safe. Um, three kilometers above sea level is fine because the sea level is not raising anymore. So we'll build that. And then we will, oh, planet's looking really good. Although it's like a lot of water and then <laughs> nothing. Ah, stag flats. Let's go ahead and build a new mine. Let's see if we can find any rhodium here. I see we've got some river. No, my luck. That's where there'll be a high concentration of anything right on the water. That's pretty good. But you can't. Oh, actually, it's going to let me build one right on the water, huh? Okay, I, I figured you couldn't, but I guess I'm wrong. I know on my phone you can't, but who knows, right? Okay. Not that we really need a whole lot of money. I just want to get enough that we can offset some of the operational costs. So four mines per outpost is probably fine, depending on what I'm mining. But I'd say, okay, silver if I got it. Because this isn't a very good, um, 
This isn't a very good area at all. I haven't found a whole lot of anything. Um, okay, that's, I guess, as good as it's going to get. Uh, 400. I got to send off this. Okay, let's see. Confirm. Oh, that's fine, really, honestly. What does that put us at? 29,892 CISO. That's why we don't really need a whole lot. We can do one more outpost. Let me see if I can get a little more lucky. Okay, what do we got here? I'm hoping for some good rhodium. No water in this one. Nothing's really popping out to me. Uh, Polydium. Ooh, nice. Good find for almost 9,000 palladium. Yeah, that was really good. Ah, it looks like it could have been better. It could have been almost full right there. Um, I almost wish I didn't build that one. Can we at least get any silver? Man, this is getting tough. That's not bad. Okay, that's fine. We, we don't obviously we don't need the credits, but it's just about making sure that we're above. It's really just about making sure we don't go in the hole, because obviously all of these cost credits to operate are, but believe it or not, our space elevator is able to f actually um, pay for all these, which is really great. All right. Um, the next on our next thing on our list, if you look at the culture, we've got one more culture point that I'm waiting to spend because I have the two hours I have to wait. So that'll put us to 80% and we still need four more culture points. And the next population boost is a million. If I go to satellites here, you'll see that I've maxed these planets out. Actually, I can build one more here. So we'll put another hab dome here, but it's still not going to get us close. So all of these are going to have to be upgraded. I believe I had started upgrading them here because this is... Nope, not here. What am I doing? Uh, here because, yeah, this is all already filled up. No, cancel, cancel. Uh, but you can keep upgrading them, get 100,000 people. That'll add a lot more people right there. So we're just going to keep upgrading these. We don't want to worry about building more hab domes on the planet because the hab domes on a planet produce oxygen and everything, and hab domes here don't produce anything. And I feel like that's a little bit of a... Yeah, it's kind of exploiting a little bit towards victory, but uh, you know what? When you play on harder difficulty settings, sometimes you got to take advantage of stuff like that. Now, if we click here, we can see that this is pretty healthy. It's been at 90% and it's kind of stuck there for a while, which is good. We could probably drop this to 35%. That'll save us some money and we'll see if that actually... Uh, helps the organism out gets to, to a little bit closer to 100 percent so 97 so it's starting to head towards 97 percent that's pretty good now we're going to want to make a microorganism for the water so let's see remnants of some of the oldest life forms on earth i oh our our okay oh boy it's been a while since i've need to Ooh, cyanobacteria. We kind of want those two. Similar to bacteria in many respects, but are missing the cell nucleus and other or organelles. Uh, with some, well, some can be found in less hostile environments. Many are extremophiles that thrive in salt lakes and geothermal springs, making them very hardy survivors in a new world. Uh, this world's actually pretty good. Plus one oxygen. Ooh, see, no, that's not good. We don't want uh, extra oxygen. Those could actually destroy our planet. Group of unicellular algae enclosed within a cell wall made of hydrated silicon dioxide and often featuring bilateral symmetry. They are major producers in the aquatic food chains of Earth and as such are uniquely well suited to provide support for larger organisms in your developing ecosystem. And plankton is the same thing. 
A catch-all term for a wide variety of small aquatic organisms, plankton from the bedrock of many food chain form the bedrock of many food chains in the oceans of Earth. Because of the wide variety of organisms within this category, plankton make for a very flexible starting place when designing a new organism. And we're actually going to go for the plankton, I think. Although I think plankton need to eat diatom. I'm guessing, right? We'll go for the plankton and see what happens. So let's add the plankton gene here because we know we need them. Minus 50% support required, support offered, we high metabolism, domesticated, it's kind of silly. Uh, would make their population grow. Um, heat adapted, low oxygen. See, our planet's really good, so we don't really need... Less support to their predators. What's the low metabolism give me? Species of low metabolism require less support to sustain their metabolism, but reproduce at a significantly lower rate. We'll give them the low metabolism. Because we got to pick something. Um, no, we don't want that. Then we can offset the population. Oh, that, that, wait, no, we don't want the domestic. How do I get rid of that? No, we definitely don't want domestic. See, it's going to add a reset organism. Plankton, add gene. Uh, okay, we want the low metabolism. We want something that'll increase the birth rate. Maybe beautiful. That lowers the birth rate even more, too. Invasive, 100% birth rate. Lowers credits, though. Nocturnal, plus 100% birth rate. Low temperature tolerance. Uh, this would actually probably work. Uh, it's a lot of projected health. Something else that'll lower the birth rate. Probably beautiful. Or domestic. Nope, it'll be beautiful. So this is even going to give us some credits. And puts it back to... Eh, it still has a projected health of 155%. We'll have to... Some conservation to keep it... Well, we'll let it go, and then we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll just leave the name. We'll we'll see. It says it's going to grow to 155 percent. It's going to be rampant. So, how about 30 percent? It's going to eat up some credits. What's that say? It's going to do. We got to refresh here to see. 5108 percent healthy. So that's going to be healthy for both of those. Right now, it's endangered, but it's going to get there. These are both healthy. You're getting up to 98 percent. We should be able to start working on plants and algae next, which is going to be really important to balancing our ecosystem. And we'll need to build the things that are going to allow us to do that. We've got some room here for facilities. I think we can go to the... Nope, that's not... I think we can go to the other place, though. Colonies. Check on Hope. Uh, we've got three spaces available here. If I build the... We want to go for plant life first. The Eco Simulator... Uh, plus two terrestrial species, and it's going to create additional heat. So we'll need to build something that can keep that heat down. I think it was 10 heat, so we'll want to get a cooling plant. Uh, we'll let that build. I think heat was already a little high anyway, so it's okay if it runs for a bit. Yep, perfectly fine. And then that'll offset that there. But we want to get the cooling plant upgraded a little bit. And I'll do all that off camera as usual. Get the cooling plant upgraded enough that it'll offset the terrestrial thing. And for the sequestration plant here, still don't know why I have this. Was I going to upgrade the spaceport? Really no reason to. It's fine just the way it is. And this doesn't give me a pressure change. So I guess I'm just trying to balance the pressure a little bit. Plus 5 change, plus 10. So if I do upgrade that, but I don't plan on it. 
So if I take a look real quick before we end the episode here, okay, we're going to be lowering heat a little bit, which we need to. Oxygen's fine. We could have a little bit more if we wanted to, but we won't worry about it. Um, I can always turn one of those. I can always turn one of those O2 filters off and let the oxygen increase because of the hab dome. Going over here to water, we'll be slowly reducing the water back towards our goal, and that doesn't matter, and all this is fine. All right, so with that being said, we're at the end of this episode. A lot of this other stuff I'll be doing off camera, and then I'll come back. We'll check on our biosphere and everything, see how things are doing. We'll be a little bit closer to victory, and yeah, we'll start making some more species. We'll start actually getting some plants on the planet and some algae, which would be nice. So I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.